hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so today i am giving you guys a full-on beat glam holiday slay makeup tutorial because I just felt like doing something real extra, okay? Like, and this is not for the faint of heart. So, um, I mean, it's not super colorful, but this also isn't like your normal, basic, neutral, warm tones either. I feel like this is just a little step up from that. So, this is what I created today, and I am feeling it so much. So, so much. Especially the base makeup. This is the same makeup that i was wearing in my favorites video as well as the what's in my bag video and i am obsessed with these makeup products currently because they just look so good together like my skin looks like skin it looks flawless i'm beat down period okay i'm just feeling myself so um yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look it is going to be a voiceover because Somebody loud ass was in the background the whole damn time. Now they want to be quiet. And um, yeah, that's what we got going on today. And then also I do have three new eyeshadow palettes. So if you guys want to see a specific tutorial using any of these, just let me know in the comments on this video. So I have the Huda Nude Medium Eyeshadow Palette. I also have the Disney Designer Midnight Masquerade palette from ColourPop. I know this one is a little bit older. They're all kind of old. I'm all new. I mean, I'm all late to the game with all of these. But if y'all want to see the tutorial, just let me know. So I have this one. And then I also have the Carly Bible and Anastasia palette. Just let me know if you guys want to see a specific look using these palettes. Or if you want to see something using these palettes, period. Just let me know. And um, we can get into the tutorial hey guys so i'm starting off with the fresh face i've already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes and today we're going to be using the Too faced gingerbread extra spicy palette i really like their first one but um yeah this is going to be my first time using this one on camera with you guys and look at those colors they are bomb as hell okay so i'm going in with my morphe e28 blending brush and i'm going to be going into the first shade which is going to be butterscotch it's a yellow shade in the pan but when i put it on my eyes it kind of turns into like a yellowy orange type of shade which is really pretty but yeah that's the color that it turns on my eyes and if y'all see me keep looking down and looking distracted it's because i'm watching train the busan on netflix yo that movie is so damn good okay it almost made me cry and i was watching it while doing this makeup tutorial Okay, but the next um, brush I'm going to go in is this Glamour Dolls brush. I don't really know where it's from. I got it in an Ipsy bag. But I'm going to be going into that color in a pinch. And it's kind of like a peachy, orange, kind of pinky tone color. And I'm going to be putting that lower into my crease. Because I want to give this look a little bit of a pink look. Since the color that I'm going on my lid with is going to be kind of pink. And I really like this brush because it's kind of tapered. It's a tapered blending brush. So I can put it like right in my crease. And it just like distributes the eyeshadow right into my crease really nicely. But, um, yo, Train to Busan is a good-ass movie. So I'm just going back in with my initial E28 brush and blending out the edges and blending those colors together. And then I forgot this clip kind of cut out or whatever, but I'm going into the shade um, Gingerbread Glam. And I'm just putting that on my... Well, as soon as I'm done watching the movie, I'm putting it on my outer corner and then blending it into my crease. And this is just a really old Coastal Scents tapered blending brush. Y'all know I've been using these brushes for years. I ain't gonna even cap to you. I'm all into this movie. So now I'm gonna go into this pinky shade called Drizzle It and I'm gonna use my e.l.f. glitter primer to apply it with the Morphe M166 flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna pat that glitter shade all on my lid and up into my crease. And then with just some random flat shader brush, I'm putting Drizzle It kind of on the inner half of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna switch over to another shade in the palette. This one is called Spicy Mommy. And I'm gonna put, it's more like a copper glittery shade and I'm gonna put that one further onto like the middle outer half of my lid blending it into that gingerbread glam shade and this just made for like a really pretty pinky warm tone kind of look i love doing pinky looks during the holidays it just i don't know it screams holiday to me but i'm gonna amp it up a little bit and go in with this urban decay heavy metals glitter eyeliner in the shade volume i don't know if they actually sell this particular shade by itself but this came in a set during the holidays last year and i'm just trying to put it to some good use so i just wanted to add some glitter to the 
cut crease part of my eye. But anyways, I did my eyelashes off camera. Now it's time to move on to the face. And this face makeup that I'm about to do is my new favorite, okay? I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I take about a pump and a half of that. And I put it all over my face and smooth it in really nicely. And this, this face makeup is my new favorite, y'all. It makes my skin look so good. Um, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Foundation in the shade Chai. Um, and then I'm also going to use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and Elf Camo Concealer in Rich Cocoa to sculpt out my face and blend it all out with the Sonia Kashuk Blending Sponge. When I tell y'all that I'm obsessed with these products currently, like right now, I'm obsessed with these products. I'm going to blend my foundation out with the Morphe M439 brush, which I just recently got and... I love it. I see why everybody likes it. It buffs out foundation really, really nicely. But um, I didn't include these products in my favorites video because I filmed it like <laughs> I filmed it before I started loving on these products. But yo, these products are bomb, y'all. So I'm just blending out my foundation. And then I'm going to move on to highlight my face with that concealer. I use the shade Honey. It's a really bright shade, but y'all know I like a really bright highlight. So don't come for me, okay? Okay. So I put that in all the normal spots. Uh, just highlight my face and everything. And I really like this concealer because I just feel like it's so lightweight. It's full coverage, but it feels lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like cakey or anything like that. It blends out super nice and... I don't know, I just feel like it's really good. It looks like skin. So to set that, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Caramelized Peach Powder, but I also mixed in some of the Makeup Revolution Banana Setting Powder, and that has been a winning combo for me. And as you guys can see, I'm not baking. I am just putting that powder on and like setting my face. I don't really bake anymore. I just don't find the need to. So I just um, push the powder in with the sponge. And then I'm gonna cream contour. Like I said, with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Rich Cocoa, this shade is so perfect for me to cream contour. It's not super, super dark, but it's not light either. So I just love it. And this concealer blends out effortlessly. So I just use um, the other side of the sponge to blend it all out. You see, I put some on my nose because I'm going to contour my nose as well. And look how effortless it just blends out so easy no effort whatsoever so then to set that i'm going to be using my nars contouring blush in gyna which i've had forever and i'm just using like this little uh bh cosmetics marble brush collection little brush to um put that all over my face and just chisel out my features make sure i'm looking real snatched as always and then I'm using the Morphe, don't let me lie to y'all, hold up, it's right here, it's right here I think. Oh, the Morphe E30, <laughs> the Morphe E30 brush to go ahead and contour my nose, yeah. And then I'm going to be using the Morphe sponge to chisel out my um, cheeks like I always do, because it just has a really sharp edge, a really flat, sharp edge that makes it easy to do. And then I'm going to use my Morphe R2 brush. It's just a big fluffy powder brush to go ahead and set my face. And I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Powder Compact. And then I spray all of that with the Wet n Wild Coconut Water Spray thing, whatever, just to set all the powders. And then this MAC Blush and Burnt Pepper, this is my new favorite blush to use when I do like any type of pinky or rosy or red look. It's my new favorite blush. And then for highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shot Cheek in Avalon, as well as the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I'm just going to highlight the crap out of my face because this is a holiday makeup look. So you got to look like you belong on a Christmas tree because you do. You highlight it as fuck. Okay, so now to finish up my lower lash line, I'm just going to take the butterscotch shade and put that on my lower lash line. And then to tie the entire look together, I'm going to take the shade Hot Tamale, which is sort of like a pinky color. And I'm just going to be using that on this Morphe M326 definer brush. And even though I didn't use the shade like in my crease or on the top of my eyes, I feel like it just really tied in this whole look together because it's a pink, but it's not a super bright fuchsia neon type of pink. It's more of like a reddish 
tight pink so I feel like it tied in with this look really really well so I put that on my lower lash line and then I buffed it out with the shade butterscotch just to make it blend in seamlessly and more effortlessly and yeah now I'm gonna take a uh, lick the spoon on my Morphe E19 brush it's just a little flat kind of pencil type brush and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight as well as on my brow bone Okay, so for lips, I'm using my NYX Espresso Lip Liner and the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick and Fighter. And this just pulled the whole look together. It looks so festive. It looks, you know, just, it looks good, okay? I'm obsessed with the look. I love how it turned out. And I hope you guys loved it as well. Because it's popping. This is bomb, yo. Okay, so now I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to fix my hair because it looks real janky. And this is the completed look. I fixed my hair. I look real festive, put on some jewelry, and I'm popping. Yo, I'm ready to go to this holiday party, okay? I'm ready to go slay some shit. Period. Okay? So let me let y'all get a good look at this makeup look. First of all, these eyelashes is everything from AliExpress. Yes, boo. Okay? I am really feeling this look. This, uh... Too Faced Extra Spicy Palette. They did something. They did something. It's really, really cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, period. Subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Peace.